don't know if you can tell how gray it is, but uh, it's gonna rain tomorrow, so I better fix my windshield wipers pronto. All right, so let me tell you where you are joining me in the windshield wiper motor saga. So, when I bought the rig, my buddy said, hey, by the way, windshield wipers don't work. I figured I'd just pull over whenever it would start to rain because I mean, who wants to drive in the rain anyways? Which I was like, yeah, okay, that makes sense. But as I'm currently driving 1,800 miles to get my rig back to uh, home, I uh, figure some windshield wipers might come in handy. So I started trying to figure it out. Now, there was a switch right here. That switch did nothing. So I checked it out. It was wired real strange. I mean, really, really strange. After looking at it for a while, I figured what might be wrong with it was the fact that it didn't seem to have a good ground wire. So, I looked around, I was going to run a ground on it, just to test. And so I went, I didn't have any, you know, electrical wire on me, so I figured I'd yank some out of the engine bay, because there's plenty of things that there's just loose wires hanging, not going anywhere. So I found one loose wire, I figured, well, I'll just trace it, see where this goes, make sure it's that important before I pull it out. And it was tied off around one of the engine struts. Well, basically, I, uh, I traced it up, and it came in, excuse my mess here, came in uh, over here somewhere, all right? And then it came, and I, so I'm like, okay, and then the wire came in across here, went this way, went under this uh, steering column, and then it, it went over here, and then it went to this little little black switch here which as you can see now says wipers at the time it didn't say anything so I didn't know what it was right I saw these two twisty wires here and they go this way so I went and I shoved them through went and found them on the other side lo and behold they go to the windshield wipers so there was an entire switch right here on the dash that I had to pull out because basically I guess the switch died, they couldn't find a new switch or they didn't want to, so they just wired the windshield wipers to a two-speed switch here on the dash. Didn't label it or anything. I guess when my buddy got the rig, he uh, figured he'd just, uh, you know, tie off this wire, he doesn't know what it goes to, to this ominous switch, deal with it later. Never thought about it again. So I wired the switch to uh, the battery for a bit and, uh, Turned it on, they worked just fine. So, the next thing I did is I went ahead and I took this entire switch out because all those wires were doing absolutely nothing in there. So, then after that, I went and I went hunting for wiper blades and I hope these wiper blades will do the trick because they were a pain in the neck to find to begin with. And then when I... Uh, <laughs> When I, when I got to them, the pin on this side was missing, and there's just a wire holding that blade in. That was great. So I went ahead, let me get closer so you could actually see this. I went ahead and I just, you know, shoved the wire back on through. But at some point, I'd like to find a new pin for it. Should probably ask the auto parts store about that tomorrow. So that's where we're at right now. We got new wipers, new blades. And uh, now I'm going to try to wire this to be a little bit less of a god-awful mess. Now, I will say, at least what I'm about to wire has an inline fuse. That's better than I could say for a lot of things in this vehicle. Now let's see if I can get that, uh, that power wire running in a little bit safer way than just as it was. So this is the uh, wire for it that I found here. <laughs> And it was just tied off around this strut like this. It looks like it used to probably connect to one of these batteries here. Probably. These are dead. These are just sitting here. Anyway, check this out. I think this might just be electrical tape together. Maybe there's a connector in there. Oh, there is. That's pretty cool. There's a quick connector in there, but still, pretty dodgy. There's the inline fuse holder, and then there's this terminal ring. So, I 
think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it directly to the battery because why not? There's enough shit already on this poor battery. And I'm gonna try to hook it up here somewhere to neaten it up, zip tie it or something. Yeah, this is a god awful mess, isn't it? And then I'm gonna put a new terminal wire on it, make it a little longer so it'll actually reach the battery and call it good. So let's see what I can do here. So I put a heat shrink terminal ring on the end of some scrap wire. I think this is, uh, looks like 14 gauge maybe, I don't know. It's kind of big. Bigger than what I'm hooking it up to, which will be fine as long as it fits my little quick connectors, which I will find out in a second here. Alrighty, no zip ties yet, um, but I went ahead and wired it directly to the battery so I don't have to mess around with anything else. Unfortunately, uh, it does mean I'll be able to accidentally turn it on even when the engine isn't running, but I'll fix that later. This will work for now. And I have working wipers. They're kind of terribly out of alignment, but I think they'll get water off my windshield. Let me pour some water on my windshield and find out, I guess. Alrighty. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. It seems they do not come to center before they're done. Oh, wow. Probably because it's uh, not the original switch. Yay. So, anyways, put some water on my windshield. I don't think you could see it, though. There you go. You can see some of it. Oh. Oh, that's gonna be fun to figure out. But anyways, the water is off my windshield. So, when I'm driving tomorrow and it starts to rain, I will still be able to see the road long enough to pull over. And now I'm gonna go neaten those cables up under the hood. So, I went ahead and um, zip tied that sucker. I covered my quick connectors and some electrical tape with another zip tie. At some point I really need to replace all this wiring because I would feel better if there was a thicker gauge wire on there. But uh, we'll, we'll hold out uh, that for when I'm neatening things up a little bit, huh? But uh, this will do the trick for now. Oh, and I almost forgot to say, this is the, uh, you know, wiper pump and tank that I pulled out of the engine, and, uh, how, yeah, I was carrying around, like, a quart of fluid for no reason, since this was hooked up to absolutely nothing. But anyways, um, I'm gonna hook up, I'm gonna hook up some test leads to this, see if it works still, and if not, I'm gonna look for some sort of generic replacement to install, but that's not a priority, that's probably gonna be in a couple months, so, anyways, uh, please like, subscribe, and join me a few months down the road for probably part two and part three of windshield wiper washer pump saga. Thanks for watching. Bye.